we're going to use the VisiPeps wire to create a wire toolpath for a die block. You can see I've got my solid here. Uh, you can see that I do have a land and then a taper. This is typical. Uh, and what's going to be really unique in this case is that we're going to work right from the solid. We don't have to make any 2D profiles or anything like that. So Visi is able to go in and find uh, any kind of machinable feature, stuff that it can machine. Uh, so we have a hole and in this case the tapered pocket that we want to take a look at. So it does realize that there's a land and a taper and we're going to go ahead and add a wire toolpath to it. So you can see I've got two axis cuts, four axis cuts, and some taper and land options. Now I've also in this case saved a template that does a rough cut on the land and then a rough cut on the taper and then goes back and does this skim cuts on the land. So Visi Wire went ahead and made those three steps for me and I can take a look at let's say the first one here so we have the uh, cut on the land and if we go in and uh, take a look at uh, picking uh, the technology out uh, Visi does have the technologies for this particular machine in its database and you can see that it actually filtered, it looked at the model, saw that it was 1.5 inches thick and filtered down my technologies just for that so I could go in and say hey I want to do three cuts, a rough and two skims, say OK and it's going to put in the offsets as well as the machine settings for those particular uh, procedure, for that particular procedure. And then like I said I'm going to do the rough cut and then it comes in and we'll do the rough cut again just on the uh, taper and of course for any of these guys not so much for the taper because we've already removed the slug but we do have options for you know when we're going to drop the slug and if we're going to use a tag and that sort of thing as well as how we're going to approach the cut do we want to arc in do we want to go in at a right angle that sort of thing so those three are there and ready to go and all I have to do is say run the post and tell it where to save it and we're going to end up with our G code ready to go uh, for that particular toolpath. So working from the solid with the VisiPeps wire is obviously a lot easier. We don't have to deal with any 2D geometry. We've got all our dimensions right there and we're ready to go.